changes to slope intercept form. So we're solving an equation on this one. I would subtract 4 fifths x from both sides. Right? So once I do this, this gives me a 0 from all these. These two cancel out. So I have y equals negative 5 minus 4 fifths x. Uh, but this technically isn't slope intercept form. You can keep it this way if you know the slope and the y-intercept. Just be careful. Uh, to change this into slope intercept form, we would just switch these. This term right here is a negative 4 fifths, though. So I got negative 4 fifths x, and then I add that minus 5, because this term right here is a negative 5. So the first point I have here is my y-intercept, which is 0. It takes the operation to its left, addition or subtraction. So that's 0, negative 5, which would be right here. And then we got our slope, which is down 4, and then to the right, 5. Be careful if you guys say over 5. Sometimes you may go to the left. I've been known to do that from time to time, so just be careful. I'm going to go down 4 and then to the right 5, which gives me this point. All right, now if I duplicate this step, though, we can find other points, not that you would need to on the homework, because two points is really all you need to graph these, I think. So you would go up 4 to the left 5 if you did it the other direction, right? Yeah, I'm just duplicating this step, and I didn't take that other one far enough. So there we go. And then we'll just draw the line. What questions do you guys have? All right, now just real quick, sometimes when you guys are graphing, right, we got a point right here, and then you'll draw the line like this. See how at the bottom, how I missed the, the line right there? So we got to fix it, right? Because on a test or something like that, we'd want to make it look real nice. So I would just make the point bigger. Is that a...